Hi folks. Today I'm going to make you uh, something a little bit different. We're going to be having to a blackened shrimp salad. Now in that salad, of course, you're going to have some spring mix and some greens. But we're also going to have some shrimp blackened. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and make some with just some, you know, some lime, salt, pepper, and olive oil, and of course garlic. Then we're going to grill a little corn. We're going to have some black beans and some pico with it. And of course, a couple of uh, avocados sliced on the side. Now on top of that, we will serve that with uh, some strips of tortilla chips. Now before we get into that, there's two things that we have to do. Number one, we have to make our creamy cilantro lime dressing which is what's going to be put on top of the salad. But then, before that, we also have to make the blackening seasoning for the shrimp. Now, I'm going to be making the uh, blackening seasoning from scratch. Now, I'm not going to show you the procedure or anything of that sort. I'm going to show you the ingredients, and uh, I put it in a bullet and ground it up, and it's ready to go. So, I'm going to give you those that, that information here shortly. So here are the ingredients for the creamy cilantro lime dressing. We're going to be using some sour cream, about three quarters of a cup. We're going to use the juice of one lime. We're going to use about a quarter cup of cilantro. Now, I also added uh, a pinch of salt and pepper to taste and one half of a cilantro, uh, not a cilantro, but a serrano pepper gives it a little kick and a little bit of spice now I have already prepared that and I'll give you just a little bit and see how beautiful that looks look at that lime green it's it's got everything you want and it is absolutely delicious this will go on top of our salad I put that in the bullet. It didn't take very long to make. Very easy. And of course, taste it as you go and get it to the, the, the right taste for you, particularly the salt content. So the next thing we had to make is the blackening seasoning. Now, of course, I could have bought some, but I thought I'd just make it from scratch. It was a lot of fun. And here's what the end result looks like. So I'm going to tell you the ingredients. I used... Uh, the equal amounts of everything except the salt and the cayenne. So we're going to go through that list. First off, we had a tablespoon of garlic powder. Then we had a tablespoon of thyme. Then we had a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We had a teaspoon of onion powder. That stack is growing. We had a teaspoon of basil ground. We had a teaspoon of oregano. We had a teaspoon of paprika. Then we had almost a tablespoon of black pepper. And the salt content was about a teaspoon. And of course, you can do this to whatever your taste buds are. And as I went along, I checked the salt content, had to add just a little bit, but it came out just the way I like it. And of course, here is the end result. And I did this again in a bullet. Now I can store this up to about three months if I want to blacken something else. So of course, the next thing that I need to do is I need to marinate my shrimp. So I peeled the shrimp, washed them, added a little olive oil, not very much, and then I added the blackening seasoning to this bag of shrimp, and I'm letting that marinate. This is about a pound of shrimp, not quite, but almost. And I did put the juice of one lime in it as well. For those that may not like the blackening seasoning, I did just a lime 
salt, pepper, olive oil, and garlic. And of course, I did put a little garlic in this one as well. So we're letting those marinate, and then all we're going to do is saute those and guess what kind of skillet? You got it, an iron skillet. Alrighty, so we're going to let those marinate, and then we'll get back to cooking them up. Okay, so our next step in this is going to be we're going to grill the corn. Now, I'm not going to put it on a grill. I'm going to put it in an iron skillet. Going to give it a little warm, let it toast up just a little bit, season it with just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we'll move on. All right, we got that uh, corn on. It's warming up, and I'm going to have a little sip of cow uh, cowboy coffee. Mmm. Does a fella good. So let's get to cooking that corn. So I used two kinds of corn. I used some white shoe peg corn, and then I used some Mexi corn, which has got, you know, some red pepper and green pepper in it. So we've got that on, getting ready to grill it. So we got that going. We're going to add a little salt. Going to add a little pepper. I like a lot of pepper. We'll get that all stirred in there. And let it do its thing. Yes, I do like to listen to a little music sometimes when I'm cooking. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I like to do a little movement. Enjoy what you're doing. Seize the moment. So as you know, sometimes the tough part of this is cleaning. Particularly when you're going to wait for your lovely wife to come home. Have everything ready at the right time. Get ready to saute those shrimp just so they'll be warm and toasty. When I'm washing them dishes, I like to play a little music. You know why? Makes it go easy. Of course, I need another sip of the cowboy coffee. Don't know if you like my music or not, but it's a mixture of blues, country, rock, and who knows, you name it. A little bit of folk as well. So yes, folks, I'm going to show you some of my dirty dishes, but I'm going to give you a little tip here. I don't know if you have one of these little plastic devices, if you can see that. Whenever you're cooking in iron skillets, if you'll take that, you can scrape that skillet out and get it just as clean as a whistle. Look at there. Just as clean as a whistle. I like to take a paper towel and rub this, you know, clean it out a little bit. Now, I'm not going to oil it yet because I'm going to be cooking those shrimp in this 12-inch skillet. All right, folks, we got those iron skillets done. I don't know if you have got this in your repertoire, your paraphernalia, but uh, this is a garlic press, and it is one great little tool. And of course, it is like some of those objects in, that you cook with that you want to hand wash. Not only do I want to hand wash that, but uh, I am also a fan of cut go knives. And we have the pearl handle ones. We got a friend that's got the red ones. My daughter has got the, the brown ones. But we also wash these by hand as well. And of course, let's get to it. All right, everybody's home now. 
So I'm gonna get those uh, shrimp sauteing. I'll show you how it looks. So you can see I got two iron skillets. I'm gonna saute those uh, two sets of shrimp differently. And of course I've got my wooden spoons. Let's get these eyes to going. We got them on. Here we go. Yes, I am a multitasker. Don't have to add any olive oil or anything to the pan because it's already in the, the marinade. There's the first one. And of course, as you know, with shrimp, that's not going to take very long. Now with my blackened, I am going to add a little more seasoning, just a tad. Got both of those going. I already hear them sizzling. Okay. Uh, if you'll see the lemons. Those shrimp are curling up, getting a little pink. Gonna be ready very quickly. We got our blackened over here on the other side. They're beginning to do their thing as well. Not gonna be too long. And of course, we don't want to overcook them. I turned those. I'm going to put a little more seasoning on those. So our lemon, garlic, pepper, olive oil, butter. Those little shrimp are done. Gonna turn the eye off, let them stay a little warm. Let's check our others over here, the blackened. Good. I do believe our shrimp is done. So I hope you can see that delicious dish with the lettuce, some arugula, avocado, two kinds of sauteed shrimp, black beans, grilled corn, and some fresco. Mexican cheese. I'll be back in just a second and add the dressing. So I hope you can see that creamy cilantro lime dressing that we've got on there. I do believe folks it's about time to eat. Okay I hope you enjoyed that little cooking episode. As usual I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat. I'll see you 
I'm down the trail.